My YouTube recommended is Dr. Phil, True Crime, To Catch a Predator by Chris Hansen, and that's all I get recommended, but I love it. Hey guys, I'm Lauren, and I'm gonna be sharing my guilty pleasures with Moxie and Sass. I've had a lot. <laughs> um, I've gone through a lot of phases. Um, one was Evan Peters from American Horror Story. I had his poster on my wall. I also went through a Brennan Urie phase that I'm still currently in. There's been a lot, but I would say the main one was Evan Peters. I was obsessed with him. It was because of American Horror Story, but it was also just him. I like when boys look a little bit dead. It's when they look like they could be like on, the, on their deathbed and they've got like really dark circles and also look like they could kill you. I like that. I have a private Instagram where I follow all of my meme accounts, all of my astrology accounts, all of my drama pages, and that's where they say. My YouTube recommended is Dr. Phil, True Crime, To Catch a Predator by Chris Hansen, and like makeup videos, but not even those. Now it's just like True Crime and Dr. Phil, and that's all I get recommended, but I love it. Well, currently I'm going through a little peep phase. It kind of came late. I find songs of his on YouTube and I make all my friends listen to it and they don't they don't like his music as much as I do but I play it in the car and in the shower and when I sleep and when I wake up. My favorite artist of all time is Eminem and I know every Eminem album, song, underground track, back to front. So all of Eminem's albums, I would say, I can't pick one, but if I had to pick one, Encore. Mm -mm. The Eminem Show, classic and then encore, and then relapse. Here's the thing, there's nothing that I won't wear out of my house. I don't care what I look like when I leave the house. If this half of me is done, I don't care what the rest of me looks like. I wear these gray sweatpants pretty much every day because when I post, I usually only post the top half of me. No one sees what's going on down here, but I have these gray sweatpants. I got them at Topshop like two years ago. They have every stain ever that you can think of. And I still wear them out. Like there's, there's no way that I would ever be able to part ways with these sweatpants. They make me look so good. They're the perfect fit. My TV show, Guilty Pleasure, is The Office. I've watched every episode of The Office at least eight times. It's basically the only show that I watch on Netflix. There's an In-N-Out that's like five minutes away from my house. And I feel really bad when I eat it, but animal style fries. That's all I gotta say. So on the plane ride here to London, I watched Keeping Up with the Kardashians for the first time and I was cackling on the plane. I wasn't expecting to find it funny, I was expecting to kind of just feel bad about myself, but it was actually really funny, like they're really funny. My favorite Kardashian, okay, hmm. I wanna say Chloe, but I also wanna say Kim, cause Kim has some really good moments. She makes the smart remarks, I like that. Classy. Mmm, guilty pleasure, film. I guess The Notebook, that's so cliche, but The Notebook is a really good movie and no one can tell me different. I know it pretty much line for line and it makes me cry every single time. I don't like the lovey stuff, it kinda makes me cringe, but like the, the good, the juicy like drama, I live for that. Thanks for watching, again, I'm Lauren and let me know your guilty pleasures down below.